always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Today's one of those days that we'll look back on as being one of the best of the summer. Goodness gracious, temperatures in the low 80s for many of us, and it's been a perfect day to hit the lakeshore. I think so. Uh, winds that have been light as a result. Waves are almost non-existent in places like South Haven. Water temperatures up near 70 there and that allows for lots of folks to actually get in the water and enjoy right on into this evening. And uh, we've been treated to some pretty cooperative Lake Michigan conditions so far this summer. We are tracking a beach hazard statement that has been issued for areas from Grand Haven off of the north for tomorrow. That's for waves that could be as high as three to five feet. Otherwise, though, a beautiful day on Monday, sunny with low humidity. A few thunderstorms become possible for us on Tuesday, and then it becomes unsettled for us later in the week, the weather pattern, that is. Here's a look at that beach hazard statement. Again, Muskegon County to the north, but it does include Grand Haven State Park. North of Grand Haven, likely waves of 3 to 5 feet by tomorrow afternoon. To the south, we'll see uh, waves on the order of 1 to 3 feet. So likely some red flags flying north, green flags likely to the south, especially a uh, lake temperature is anywhere from the upper 50s to near 70. And again, there is quite the discrepancy. Otherwise, though, it is going to be a beautiful day. So even if you don't want to get in the water or it's unsafe to do so, it's still going to be a nice day to hit the beach. Satellite shows that we have almost no clouds. Any cloud cover that we did have is now moving off to the east. Lakeshore is sunny. And so if you're looking to get out for a nice sunset tonight along the lakeshore, tonight is a night to do it. Here's a view of Storm Check Live. No rain in sight for us. Uh, temperatures are at 80 degrees in Grand Rapids. It is 82 in Hastings, 83 in Kalamazoo. Uh, winds are light, generally out of the west, northwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, here's a look at over the next 24 hours, temperatures and dew points. Notice that they don't climb all that much, so it's going to be comfortable through the day tomorrow. But noticeably warmer with uh, temperatures warming into the mid 80s for many of us. Future cast shows will be clear overnight tonight. Just a gorgeous night out there. Same thing for Monday. Plenty of sunshine, very few clouds, and a very, very small chance of a shower. But watch as this cold front sags south into Tuesday morning. Bring some cloud cover. Chance of a few rain showers, but those will likely be dying off. What we'll be watching is for areas in the afternoon, especially southeast of Grand Rapids, for a few thunderstorms that may develop uh, into the day uh, for us on Wednesday. Uh, rain chances do continue. Severe weather risk for... Tomorrow is off of the north, places like Marquette, up into northern Wisconsin. And then on Tuesday, the level 1 out of 5 risk does shift down into West Michigan, so we'll watch for a few potentially stronger thunderstorms. Your 8-day forecast shows highs in the mid-80s tomorrow, just going to be a terrific day. Mid-80s again on Tuesday with the chance for some showers. And look, the pattern is rather unsettled for us as we see uh, chances for pop-up showers and storms through the remainder of the week. And we'll continue to watch that closely. Amanda.